welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this crocodile tears greenness that's going on right here. Um, I really, really, really love how this turned out. I used on my lips Jeffree Star's Crocodile Tears and um, Corset from the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick line. And then on my eyes I used the Wet n Wild. I can't remember what the name of the palette is, but I used a Wet n Wild palette and then some MAC and Anastasia shadows. So yeah, I really, really, really love how this turned out and I hope you guys like it too. So if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, go ahead and continue to watch. Hello guys, I'm going ahead and just starting with my usual brow pencil from Wet n Wild in Sima Brown now. <laughs> I'm outlining my brows and just filling them in lightly. Let me know if you want to see a in-depth brow tutorial. I'm probably going to film one anyway, um, but go ahead and just thumbs up this video if you'd like to see that. Now I'm just taking my spoolie brush and going through them to kind of disperse that color a little bit. And I'm using an LA Girl concealer to just clean up the bottom part and the tail of my eyebrow. I don't remember what shade I used, but just something that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone, not too light. Right now I'm just using my normal Elizabeth Arden eyeshadow base, blending that all over my lid so that my shadow has a nice sticky base to stick to. Say stick one more time. <laughs> now I'm using burnt orange on a fluffy brush and just putting that all over my lid just to make the other colors that I sit down easier to blend. On that same brush I'm taking Foley from MAC and placing that into my crease area and blending it a little bit towards my brow bone and um, towards my lash line as well just kind of make it nice and blown out. Now I'm using a really pretty shimmery dark brown from the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and I'm putting that on the outer V of my eye and blending it towards the tear duct area. Not all the way but you want to blend it towards that way. Okay now I'm taking Saddle from MAC on a different fluffy brush and blending out the edges of that just so it has a nice smooth transition. And I'm doing the same thing but with a cooler tone brown. This is Corduroy from MAC. You want to just make sure um, everything is nice and blended. And I just used a lot of like brown tones just to make it nice and smoky and pretty. Now I'm using a fluffy brush but it's really, really, really thin so that it's um, it gets the colors nice and precise. And I'm using Deep Damson from MAC. I'm keeping that really tight into my crease and not taking it all the way towards my inner corner. Okay, and on my finger I'm taking um, like a teal brown duochrome shade from the Wet n Wild palette and patting that onto my lid. I like how it looked with my finger but I went ahead and took a synthetic brush after um, or off camera and I just kind of packed on some more color. Now I'm taking a kind of lime green shade from that same palette and placing that right into the center of my lid and I loved how those two colors look together. I think this palette's only like four bucks guys, you really should get it. Okay, now I'm just taking my fluffy brush with no additional product and I'm blending everything so um, that all the colors are nice and seamless. And using the LA Girl Concealer, um, I really don't remember what shade it's in, <laughs> I will try to link it in the description bar. But I'm just highlighting my normal places on my face. And I started um, highlighting underneath my contour so that it pops a little bit more. And I've been loving how that looks. It's like such a subtle thing, but it just makes your face look so much more structured. Like if, I don't know, I don't really have like a structured looking face. Like my face is kind of chubby and round. So it really helps add my, or makes my features pop a little bit more. So if you have the same problem, maybe try doing that and you really will see a difference. And I'm just blending that out with my, um, like a small stippling brush with some Fix Plus on it. I've been loving this brush. I've had it for a while and I just kind of stopped using it because I was using a beauty blender to blend out my concealer. 
But what I've been doing is blending out my concealer with this brush first and then taking my beauty blender just to make sure all of the edges are nice and seamless. And I'm just using a translucent powder. This one's from Mary Kay. And I am putting that all over my face. I'm putting a lot just so it soaks up any extra oil so I'm not shiny, which I usually am not shiny because my skin's pretty dry. But I've been, um, I guess, baking here recently, and it really does make a difference with your makeup. It makes it look a little bit more, like, flawless. I just want to try a translucent powder that has a little bit more of a color to it so I don't look ashy. Because I want to put more powder, but with a stark white powder like this, if you have a deeper skin tone, then I really wouldn't suggest packing on the powder like that unless it has a like a nice um, yellow or brown shade to it. Okay, now I'm just taking, um, <laughs> what is this, Smolder from MAC. I really should have sharpened that because I poked myself in the eye like five times. But yeah, just going over my lower lash line and kind of bringing it, or in my waterline and bringing it to my lower lash line. Um, and a little bit onto my, like kind of winging it out just a little tiny bit. And I went ahead and used the NYC liquid liner and I did a um, kind of a thick line on top. I did not wing it out though. And I'm taking my big fluffy brush from Artistry and I'm dusting away any excess translucent powder. And then going over everything with a little bit of the mineralized skin finish from MAC. I used the shade Dark Deepest. I'm just putting that over everything so it looks nice and blended together and you can't tell where my concealer starts and ends. Now I'm taking that shimmery brown color from the Wet n Wild palette and I'm blending that into my um, my eyeliner. And I loved how that looked. I did that, um, what was this? I filmed this, I don't even remember when I filmed this video, but <laughs> I've been doing that a lot this week. It just looks really pretty, like a shimmery color on your lower lash line. I love it. Now I'm just popping on some lashes. I don't remember what lashes these are. Um, I think they're from Ardell, but maybe not. But I bought a couple new lashes um, from a different brand, and I want to start using those in tutorials. Okay, now I'm just taking my NYX, um, what is it, Skinny Mascara, I'm blending my lashes in with the false lashes. And putting some mascara on my lower lash line, lower lashes. I'm going to go ahead and contour my face using um, Film Noir from MAC with a big, um, I think that's a blush brush from e.l.f., but I switched back to using this brush because it looks a little bit more natural. And then I take the smaller, um, I think it's like an angled blush brush from e.l.f., I take that one and then I do it on the sides of my nose and underneath my bottom lip. Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> I did use this brush for that. Now, yeah, I'm taking the smaller brush now and just going on the sides of my nose, just so it's a nice, um, kind of airbrush looking contour, not too precise or anything. Now I'm taking, taking a Kabuki brush, I believe it's from Artistry, and I don't have any product on it, I'm just blending everything together. Now I'm taking Turks and Caicos from e.l.f. It is a really pretty bronzer and highlight duo. Taking the highlight shade from it and then just highlighting my face. And I packed on a lot of highlighter today, guys. <laughs> now I'm just taking a little bit of that highlighter on the tip of my finger and putting it on my nose, just the tip. It just adds like a little cutesy, pointed up nose kind of look. And I did the same thing with my Cupid's bow. Okay, so now for the fun part, guys. This is why you clicked on this video. <laughs> I'm using a black liner. And I'm lining my lips. And I filled them in a lot. I'm not showing all of that because it would take forever. But yeah, there it is right there. Now I'm taking Crocodile Tears from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I'm filling in my lips. Now, you probably could get away with... Um, not using a liner because it is such a deep green but I just like how it looked with the black when I first got it I was just messing around with it with like a brown liner and just different color liners but I love how it looked with the black 
and I'm just blending it into that. Now I'm taking my finger and I'm making sure that it's super blended in with the black liner because you don't want it to be like such a stark black line and then green. You want it to look like a gradient. So of course that took away some of the product. So I'm just going over everything that I um, kind of messed up when I was blending it with my finger and then just making it nice and perfect. Okay, now I'm taking the lingerie um, from NYX, what is it, corset, putting that in the center of my lips, and just kind of patting it and blending it in like that. And that is pretty much it guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.